Hello, and welcome back to Wells Family Journey. So, it is very early in the morning in my household. Seems like I'm always the last one to fall asleep and the first one to get up. But today, I have an undertaking that I'm about to do. If you're curious, stick with me, and I'll be back after a few seconds. Alright, so welcome back. Wells Family Journey. I'm Damien. Uh, so, I woke up early today. Uh, it is going on 7 o'clock right now. And technically, I've been up since about 4.30, 5 o'clock. Just tossing and turning. Just really couldn't sleep, you know. Seeing how it's summertime now, the sun is coming up at about 4.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And... I don't know about you, but I hate waking up before my alarm goes off. It just, I don't know, it just throws the day off for me. But I'm sitting here in my kitchen, drinking my cup of coffee in my wonderful coffee mug. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself that I made a promise to somebody. And I'm the type of guy that if I make a promise, I keep it. If I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So let me drink my cup of coffee and I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. All right. So I finished my unusually large cup of coffee. Uh, I think I'm ready to start the day. So we are outside and I just want, I just want to tell you all Something funny, right? So, many of y'all that know me or have uh, watched previous uh, video of mine know that I have knee issues from a torn ACL that I had in the military that uh, they didn't fix for seven years. So, so it healed wrong and then they had to go in and do uh, corrective surgery and whatnot. But, so I have bad knees and I, I constantly have to wear knee braces just so that I can walk normally or without pain or I should should I say without a ton of pain I'm I'm constantly in pain for my knees every day but uh so about two months ago I got a different set of knee braces and uh p I, I think they're called p p p, p podiatrist I I don't know I don't even know if I'm saying that right but uh you know, I went in, they fitted me for and everything like that. And before I left, I could walk better. And, but you know, being with new braces, I was like, it's a little uncomfortable, but you know, you told me with time, I'll get used to it. Well, I never got used to it. And it seemed like it just kept bruising my, my leg. Uh, uh, that little bone that's right beneath your kneecap. It was like coming bruised. It was like scraping my skin off and I was like I'm not getting used to these things no matter what I do uh, I was like I would have to tighten it so tight that I felt like my circulation was being cut off for my for my legs and whatnot but <laughs> I don't know today I was putting them on because I'm I'm outside and uh I'm about to help out my neighbor but uh so I was looking at them and I was like you know what let me try something different with them. So I switched them around, okay? So I put put it on one knee or one leg and the other one on the other leg. Not how he showed me how to do it because I took pictures of it uh, when he put them on, how it looked because I was like, how would I know what's left and what's right? And he's like, oh, you'll, you'll definitely know. You can definitely tell, right? So I'm like, okay. So before I left the the office, you know, why I still had them on from when he put them on on my on my legs. Well, long story short, I reversed it, okay, and immediately I felt so much. My legs felt so much better. They fit better. I'm just like, man, I don't know if he was in a hurry that day or what, but I know that's his job. 
but I think I think he showed me how to put these things on backwards. <laughs> so I don't know. I just I just thought that was kind of funny, but I'm outside my house and I'm about to help out a neighbor. So a little story. When I was younger, younger teenager, um, living in Belleville, Illinois, my mom. Uh, should I say that we had a neighbor that lived across the way, an older, an older gentleman and his wife. And, uh, you know, when it snowed, my, my mom was always telling me to go, go to their yard, you know, shovel their driveway, a walkway to their front door. And I was just like, man, why am I always doing this? You know, I got thanked here and there, but you know, it just seemed unnecessary you know i was like and they probably have kids of their own they can come do it or you know pay someone to do it but now as an adult an older adult myself and i say boy i wish someone would come help me cut my grass or we don't get much snow but shovel my yard you know <laughs> when we did get snow but uh so we're just gonna walk down the street and go to my neighbor's neighbor's yard. So my neighbor is an older woman. She's a retired school teacher here in Washington. And we met when I moved into the neighborhood. And yeah, we've been talking ever since. That's been about eight eight years now. So I'm walking to her yard and I'm gonna show you her yard. So like I said, if you make a promise to somebody, keep it, right? So I'm gonna flip the camera around a little bit. So right behind me is her yard. Now, she's an older woman with uh, bad knees just like me and a, and a little dog. So I was cutting my grass the other day and you know, I just glanced over and I was like, man, her yard is looking unkept. Let me go take a look at it and see what I do can do so here I am I'm going to take care of her yard for her today this might take me a couple days it's a big yard I love the yards here in Washington where we, where we live at you get plenty of space so I'm gonna cut this yard and give her dog some uh, leg room to go outside and do what it needs to do but and I'm also gonna try out these knee braces being flipped around so if you're still sticking with me don't forget to hit that like button the subscribe button and leave a comment all right see you after i get done doing this